WFO, everybody. Joe Costello here, and I have a very special message for you. You're going to get these uh, occasionally. In this specific case, following the Richmond race, the Virginia Nationals, I drove to Johnson City, Tennessee for the performance TV show at Ayers on Motor Trend Network, Sunday morning, 8.30 a.m., and never made it back to the WFO radio studios. I was unable to secure any interviews, and what we're going to do is this week is just going to move on to next week. Next week is going to be this week. So on Tuesday next week, you'll hear Ron Caps, you'll hear Steve Torrance, you'll hear Andrew Hines, you'll hear Bo Butner, you'll hear Aaron, Alan Reinhardt, you'll hear everybody, and I'll give you my breakdown and all of that. But the bottom line is this. I figure if we can't put together a first-class, top-notch, winner's edition for the Virginia Nationals, I cannot do it. I will not put out halfway efforts and so there you go. So here's what to do. Here's what to do. I know you're like, where's Nitro? Here's what to do. Number one, go to your DVR and program it for Performance TV, 8.30 a.m. Motor Trend Network, Sunday morning, number one. Number two, the archive is loaded. We did an ignition show. It was good. It was fun. We goofed around. We talked about things other than racing, and we talked about racing as we get ready for Memorial Day weekend. Uh, had a lot of fun. The archive is loaded. I know there are some interviews that you did not listen to. You can definitely go in there and check them out. And Factory Stock Podcast. That will happen next week as well. So you can go back and get to know uh, Scott Libisher and others, Kevin Skinner, and hear Ned Walliser from the National Hot Rod Association explain all the rules changes going on in factory stock. There's a lot of content there. I know you all didn't follow up with that. But the bottom line is this. We will be back next week. Thank you so much, everybody out there at Richmond that was so nice and so kind to say hello and that they listened to the show and WFO and all that stuff. Thank you so much. And that's the deal. That's the deal. Occasionally, the travel schedule just cripples it. And that's what happened this week. So, WFO, everybody, happy listening. The archive is loaded. Go get on it, and we'll see you next week. Uh, and, and in the end, one more thing. Wait, wait before you go. Memorial Day is a solemn holiday. I have spent a lot of time over the past couple of weeks heavily invested in our country and the spirit of patriotism. Going to Washington, D.C. with my father, going to the Marine Barracks at 8th and I, going to the Capitol, watching the House vote, going to the National Museum of the United States Marine Corps. And then on my way from Richmond to Johnson City, I stopped at Appomattox Courthouse. I saw where the Civil War ended. I'm on a real history kick right now, and I love it. I love history. I love our country. I love what it means, the ups, the downs, the good, good, the bad. We are what we are and we're making it better every second of the day. And the only way this happens is because some people are willing to sacrifice and they're willing to serve and they go and they join up and they serve. And some of them pay the ultimate sacrifice and they give their lives for the rest of us so we can do what we want so we can go barbecue and watch a race 500 miles we'll go up watch monaco we could watch nascar we could watch whatever we watch why are we able to do that well freedom is not free freedom is not free and these people paid for us and so uh it's something i always like to spend a little extra time thinking about and I hope all of you do as well. And so those of you whose family members or have served, you've served, thank you so much. But this particular holiday is for those that have given their lives. And I think about them and uh, I will be spending time this weekend doing that. And then I will enjoy on their behalf because I think that's what they want. That's why they did what they did. All right, WFO, everybody. This is WFO Radio. Thank <laughs> you.